guys, welcome to episode four of the Young Dance Civilian Opinion Show. And today I'm with Isaac, Layla, Ilana and Alex. He was on the first one. Um, so yeah, um, we're just going to talk about lockdown more, like basically all this like tier two stuff and like how we feel about it. Talking a bit about TikTok and just about our goals for 2021. So let's get straight into it. So the first topic is... Do you think schools should stay open if we do go into another lockdown? So, who wants to start? Isaac? Yeah, I'll start. Um, I think it's a tricky one. I think especially for kids doing A-levels and GCSEs, it's going to be really like hard for them if schools are closed mm-hmm. because they're like not going to be learning as well. Yeah. You need like person-to-person contact to learn things properly, so like you need to be in school with teachers. But then I'd also agree that like there's if there's a lockdown and you're going to school, then what's the point of being a lockdown? Because schools are like the place where there's most contact between people, and that's the reason why even with this two t- tier two sh- um stuff with <laughs> not being able to go to the same households and everything, um like doesn't matter. It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense because you're still seeing yeah. each other in it school. Is. I feel like schools should stay open, yeah, because. For me, when I was in like yeah. lockdown, I wasn't learning anything. Like it was not it's going into my head. Like, home. But yeah. then I feel like school shouldn't because either way, we're with people. Like we're, it doesn't make sense for we're the mixing walls. with yeah. people. Yeah. Like they may say about the bubbles and stuff, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. You can go if home, my bubbles are 120 someone. people, that's not really helping yeah. anyone. Yeah. <laughs> bubbles, if you have siblings in the school with you, yeah. they're just going to be like with me and same. with me and Layla. Layla was put at home for like two weeks because someone in her still. year had it. But then I was still at school and I was in contact with Layla. So if Layla and Layla been in contact with the boy, so if Layla had coronavirus, I would have got it, yeah. and then I would have been bringing it back to school, and that's more years out. So it doesn't make sense to have school on. But then I do think it is essential for people. And then you could argue that like also a lot of kids need to be at school because like family situation won't be yeah. as good, mm-hmm. or like just for like mental health to be able to see yeah. like friends Your and friends, be in contact. Yeah. It's better. Kind of touched to be it school. on like even like the past podcast like just about like mental health and yeah, stuff exactly. and how like it's not easy for people like people home, may say like, they like it's easy for them to say stay at home because they obviously have their friends yeah, and like yeah. the government mm-hmm. or whatever but like for some kids and some not even just like in like kids like families like, as a whole it's not healthy for them to be yeah honest. especially and if you're like quite argumentative with your family you have a lot of yeah. family problems even people that have like domestic abuse and stuff we were talking yeah, about this exactly. earlier it's like when you're not enjoying being at home you just want to get out of the house and rates of that through the last lockdown like domestic abuse and like they stuff like that they all it's went up sad. and everything it all went up and so. to be honest half the time people aren't even following these rules so people are going to be yeah. going out anyway yeah, exactly. so. and i think I also think that people aren't following the rules because they're sick of it and yeah. also because the rules just don't make don't sense. Don't yeah. yeah. so make sense. make sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's half, half, they're half price on pubs, go to the pubs. I oh, don't go to the pubs. Yeah. What? what? It <laughs> they're telling you go to school, but you can't go like anywhere else. They're saying yeah. you can go to go school go with your friends, but then you can't standard. go with your friends to another house exactly. where it's technically like, there's it's less people, s- so you're less at risk. Like, they, they just, yeah. you can't, they just you don't can't want meet. you to socialise, but they want you to do like school. But you know where it's good because obviously. Yeah. But I think yeah. also yeah. then a reason for them that they want us to be in school is maybe just so that our parents don't have to be looking after. Well, maybe not for us, but like younger so kids. that younger kids, their parents can go to work because their kids are at school. Because I feel like obviously with lockdown like the economy and stuff it's not like for like good. for a lot of people like especially for us we can say oh i don't want to go to school because we all we yeah. don't love school do we yeah. no one does but then how about for the people who don't have a family yeah, yeah like exactly. how would or having a hard time yeah at home. hard time at home yeah. and like they like would obviously want to go to school, to school. that's escape. their distraction that's yeah their school is that the yeah. escape yeah yeah, yeah. But then it just links to like, do you think we should go into another lockdown? But then didn't also like in the last lockdown, didn't they have kids? At work, some kids were allowed yeah. to go to oh, school. Yeah. If, if your really parents were full time workers and you like be, and you were under a certain age, your yeah, parents yeah, yeah. were key workers, things like that, you yeah, could yeah, go yeah. to school. I had yeah. I had the option to go to school. I, did I chose as well, not yeah. to because obviously 
it was GCSE year, so yeah. there was no point if yeah. I'm not doing yeah. my GCSEs, what am yeah. I doing? But it's yeah. also, yeah. also so if you're going to school, you're not getting taught by teachers, you're basically just getting babysat, and you're doing the work that you'd be doing at home, also, so it doesn't yeah. really help anything. And then that's unfair on those kids, because they're having to go to school and do work, whereas other people get time off and mm. they're doing what they want at home. Yeah. Do you think we should go into another lockdown? Yes. It, de- it depends. I feel like if we do go into another lockdown, none of this like six, seven months, just a straight, solid three weeks, I think that will help. But that's the that's the, cir- that's the circuit breaker thing because that's just like fire two break. three fire weeks. <laughs> no, no, there's a circuit breaker and then a oh, fire no. breaker is like the full thing. So that's what Wales are doing. But then the circuit breaker lockdown is just like two to three weeks period mm. where everything's closed off. But I think. But that's that's then I think. But I think yeah. during that even schools are open, so I don't think it's reducing. Yeah, it's it doesn't. I don't think it's reducing risk. I think if you are going to do that, you just need to close everything, everything. for two and three weeks. Because that makes it makes sense that basically if everything closes down, everyone that has coronavirus will get healthier and not spread it for those two yes. weeks, and so then, then also, every, the, the, the amount of cases will go to zero. And that's also, I'm like the kind of. Summer. That's why I think what they're doing at the moment with like regions as well, like Mm -hmm. locking them down and like I feel like that's. I feel like locking everything down. I feel like that's unfair. I feel like if you're gonna do a a lockdown lockdown for region, it should just be for everyone because then then it's unfair because then you have some people who can travel and see each other and then like I have friends outside of London, they can go see each other, but then I have to like remain at home and just like. I feel like even if it was though like everything went on lockdown like airports everything yeah. like no traveling people will still be going to school so people walk to school so yeah. people will be crossing it. other people, people. Are it's not like, like everyone's yeah. gonna stay at home people if you walk to school and people who like there could be like i don't know like a 30 year old man really, and he really would use really. that as a scapegoat to obviously get outside realistically yeah. there will always be that one person who does not do what they're told and mm. so yeah. regardless of whether you lock down for three weeks those people is going to be going to the shops opening their businesses and i too. think that's more likely this time around because everyone's for just real. sick of it and they're like but the rules don't make sense yeah. so oh, 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 I've got away with to the government if the government don't really and so they've said you can get a 10 grand fines, what they're going to do, come into my house, count, yeah. what's your surname, yeah, do you yeah, live yeah, in exactly. this house? It's exactly. not, people think, I'm going to get away with it, I might as well do it anyway. Yeah. But I feel like, I know we may think it's bad, but they're doing the best they can to protect us. No one else, and I no think, one else yeah. has ever been through this I before. think they're really trying to find a way, but like from their view, they're actually genuinely trying to help us. Yeah. But I think just we're just kind of mocking it a little bit too much. But then, but then I also definitely. they are doing stuff to help us, but I don't think they're doing everything they can be doing. And especially like, because like, they definitely have money to help lots of yeah. lots of yeah, people, but they're not, they're, at, not they're being like a bit stingy with they're it putting because it they're, the wrong they're putting in the wrong place. Like, I don't think yep. everything they're doing is to help everyone, is to help themselves a bit like more they're helping the economy and they're not helping their own children and the yeah. health yeah. of people yeah. as well that like you can pay for they're putting money into nando's and other yeah. businesses yeah, exactly. they're not putting money yeah. into the children that need food like it's yeah. like yeah. they put five it was 500 so, million into like the eat out help out scheme and, and they can't even me. they can't even pay the 20 million to help kids that actually are eligible exactly. for free school meals. and then it takes it's people like footballers to help that's that just stuff. more that thing called um, it's just the free school mill thing. Oh, it's just, yeah. it's just yeah. they voted and it was like 360 uh, no's to like 260 yeses. And it was just, yeah. I found it so like morally like wrong. Wrong, you morally know, wrong. That you, can... you can even say like kids shouldn't get food Exactly, at exactly. And kids shouldn't be fed because we can put the money to other things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, at the end of the day, There's if the parents the are, if the parents are getting paid furlough or they get paid benefits, the government think that people are already being helped. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. But not necessarily. But then also people People on furlough as well, like they're not getting paid their full wage. Yes, eighty well, percent. It's yeah. kind of like what Alex said, like they're just like just they're yeah. it like, and they're not and many people have the money, the money to do it. Yeah. Like many people have the money to pay for their kid to get food, but that certain percent of people don't. Yeah, and they just kind of. I think yeah, they can the argue situation. that they can argue that your um them those kids parents like could be doing better for their kids anyway so really they don't unemployed they can't they don't need to but then there's also the like population of people who generally do need Mm -hmm. help like people people have been made redundant and can't work after corona because their their officers said we don't need you anymore we can work online we don't need you like people let's say if they work as a cleaner in an office Mm. and this company's now moved to working online instead Mm. yeah what are they going to do they They can't feed their kids and then they do need that recently though one of the mps they did there was like another, they were giving more money out to self-employed actually. 
but yeah. then but then also like Go my mum so my, my mom for example my mom was saying that like she doesn't actually need that money anymore so then maybe like that money would also be better directed into other places yeah the yeah, conser- yeah. Uh, cons- i read something earlier um a conservative mp basically backed their decision to not um to not provide like free school meals yeah. in, the, in the summer or whatever it was half term uh, yeah half term sorry um and they were saying how they were putting it into other places but regardless of whether you put it into um other places there's still going to be a need for free school meals and because there's so always going to be like an yeah. exception that free school meals just covers everybody because it's food, it's direct food, yeah. like handed to you. Purchase Whereas like putting money today. into um, other people's wages, universal credit, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna cool. it's gonna be a choice of whether they pay their bills or they they yeah. feed their children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like in the end they're just gonna like make it free again. They will. like so many people. But are just I gonna feel complain. like I feel like it will take. A long, I feel like the longer we're in this situation, the government are having to give money out, then the worse situation we're going to be when this is all over. That's the only um, thing. So yeah, I feel, yeah. but then, yeah, it just like it's really like confusing because a lockdown would be good, but I don't think it would be successful because people just don't really people care. People have their own. Yeah. yeah, it's just like you the virus is out there. But I think personally, it won't end until like mid 2021, if not that, yeah. because I think it's just starting and to and become a thing that we have to live with. Even then, I think it's like people the think that it's fake. Still, people are thinking it's all yeah. 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 So there's like yeah. loads of people out there that aren't just not going to follow the rules. I feel like it's just become it. a part of our life now. I'm yeah. Just yeah, but then again, like, but then again, the argument that is fake is like, or it's a conspiracy that was made by people. It's still yeah. a virus, and you still need yeah. to protect yourself. But then again, what you just said, like. I f- like because it's part of our lives I just feel like maybe you just let life go on That's and whatever what happens yeah. happens but then do, do you say what you say whatever happens happens you might be at home for two weeks being ill but someone might die because of that or am I, yeah that imagine you were because if you get coronavirus yeah. you're, you're fit and healthy you dance so you'll be fine that's true but like someone else or that like might catch it but then again like at the moment Absolutely. with but the whole but then it's just like know your limits yeah don't be stupid and go out and not if you know you're, you're at risk but then you, but then you could argue it is unfair for like saying. the elderly or people who yeah, are at risk because they then aren't allowed out if we go on with life as normal but then it's like even doing the lockdowns that they're doing they're not actually lockdowns because we're still going to school we're still like mm, traveling to, to and fro from going school, to pubs still yeah. i'm yeah. going to yeah. pubs and restaurants, restaurants. Like, then again the opinion of the elderly i watched a video about yeah, you oh, see the, the, the video. Yeah, she's like <laughs> I'm gonna die soon, <laughs> so I might as well enjoy my life. Too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she was like, oh, I don't. She said I don't she care. was just like, so gonna die. So, yeah. She They're was like, I'm gonna die anyway. I might as well so just go outside. Knowing, knowing what we know, like that, some of the elderly actually do think like that. Do we think that we should listen to them? about um not, not everyone thinks like that i just think it's hard for the government as well because it's the first time that like anything a like government well it's like, not the yeah. first time anything like this has happened but it's the and first time like that this right government now, has had to deal with they're it they're actually trying like yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. they've got it's gone further but than then, they thought but then i think it's because they reacted too late because they mm-hmm. knew it was coming mm. but they were just like and they were all saying oh it's just like the flu yeah, yeah exactly they yes. didn't take it seriously enough at the beginning and i think if we took it seriously at the beginning would be all right yeah. because there are countries who are like almost it. recovered now yeah. because they took action sooner and they were smarter about everything i feel like with lockdown how it went on for so long yeah we had to go back on like near around the first of september yeah, everyone yeah. did yeah. and i think that is just purely because we've missed out technically a whole year of school yeah. and they Pretty they could have gone on for i don't know another 12 months of the lockdown but obviously i understand that school and that's probably why they're keeping schools open now so we don't miss another year of school so no one's missing their gcse's and then that affects our future because if we have no gcse's what jobs are we going to get do you know what i mean so i think they're thinking ahead as well as like right now Um, for me it's like the thing is like people in australia they have five cases a day and they're in full 100 percent lockdown like we were in in march Mm. which i think is crazy that the government they're intervening rather than preventing. Like, mm-hmm. they could have put us in a lockdown when we had 100 cases a day right at the start. Do you remember in March when they were like, 100 yeah, cases yeah. a day? We now have 1,300 1, cases yeah, a day or something yeah. like that. 13,000 cases got a day. Down to one. There was a point where it got down to one, but then everyone went to school. But then everyone thought so, that because then it was one that was time to go that back. Some, yeah, that's some countries can be lying about like their cases as well. That's and also thing. some cases weren't, I think there was a thing was like 20% 
of tests that came back as like, I might be making this up, but like there was something where a lot of like the tests or a lot of the cases weren't sort of noted yeah. because some of, of them couldn't couldn't be detected and stuff. Um, a lot of the deaths of, from coronavirus as well is like the person was already on their deathbed, but coronavirus yeah, put them over the be, edge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then they come down as a death okay. because of corona, but, but it could have been was that really the case? I think, I think it was not. like, I feel like on average. It as an now. Yeah, I feel like on average it was like there was an eighty percent likelihood of getting like, through it, like being fine. I'm between yeah. mine and whether something's actually shady like going on because I did watch a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did see. <laughs> I did watch a video where someone swabbed, like, got free tests sent to their house for their family, and they swabbed their cat, and they swabbed a pavement, and they swabbed something else, and they both, like, two of them came back positive. <laughs> yeah, but obviously, like, there's gonna be like, there's it's gonna all be air like, droplets, so like, like, so it yeah, will they, be it on the pavement and stuff. So yeah. I don't think that is that. Like, that's yeah. like, That kind of makes sense. That's just. Yeah, but actually, that's just germs. Yeah. I think it's gonna that's be something I mean, like that's it's gonna be something like chicken pox, but you have to have it to get over it. I think that's yeah. what it's gonna be. I like feel that is the thing. Yeah. Then also there are cases where people have had it twice. But yeah. I feel like genuinely that's what I mean about the herd immunity thing about like just letting life go as it is. Because if like a lot of people will die from it, so that's the only like negative from that. But it's it means that if everyone, but if everyone, <laughs> 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 but if everyone gets it. If, if, if everyone does get it, then majority like likelihood is that then once you've had it, you won't get it again, and then yeah. most people will be fine. Some of us might have had it. You never know. I'm so yeah, so never, that I had it. I, feel like, I think I, I feel had like it. There was a point. I had it. There was a point where I was so ill. Because remember, like, you us mm. all four of us in the house. We were all like, there was like a like. It was a Christmas. There was like it was two. Like, there was like two, was three really weeks where we were like all ill. I had a sore throat. It was at the Christmas production last year. And then it was like. Like, I had every symptom except for the, the loss of taste. Like, yeah, I didn't taste yeah. my food, but then but the loss of I taste just thought, later. yeah, when they I mutated, know what I mean? when it mutated, I had a dry, like, I had a dry throat know. thing and the um, like the headaches and stuff. But I think that's what gets people paranoid. Like, now that any having a sore Ill. throat, oh, I have COVID, let me go yeah, check. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have every right to go check, but like, that's I what think I that's think about the lockdown that they're trying to do though is they're trying to reduce stress on the NHS as well because now yeah. when anyone it's is like a little bit sick they're going straight, straight to the hospital to, yeah. because they're but scared. But they should get tested. People should be able, should do have the the like yeah, yeah, the yeah. rights to find yeah. out yeah. Yeah. what they're ill of. Like. I think everyone should just get tested at some at one point. I've like, there's some people who are like no, anti-vax and the they thing don't is, want to have a swab down their throat. But that's the yeah. thing with the virus as well though. It's like choke on the swab. Like you can you can be tested, but then. The next day you might catch it straight yeah. afterwards. That's, that's true. true. That's the only true. thing. Like you can be tested once, but no, that's but like that's why they test like your antivirus though. That's like, why they yeah. test you your can't antibodies. like bloody stop a virus. Like yeah, you don't yeah, know where yeah. it is. It could be in this room right now. Like you never know. You mm. can't stop it. <laughs> it's <Yeah. all> right. <laughs> Actually, like you can't stop it. Like you can't stop it from entering. Yeah. You can. You, yeah. like, it's always gonna be around. You're, you're gonna get it if you're gonna get it. Doing stuff. Help, I feel really like at some help. point everyone will get mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I don't think there's a, even like, if it's not like severe, like yeah, yeah, yeah. even if it's just like the symptoms, like really even bad symptoms, know, yeah. like everyone has at least had it. Like even if it's like a portion of it, and mm. then you know someone else has a quarter of it. Side dish. <laughs> no, it's one true. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. But like it's just so true. You know, if I have like a little cough one day, I'm a bit like Ooh, a bit scared. So they they've. One part of them has has really over like made it look bad. They've made it like you can't leave the house yeah. if you've got a sore throat. Yeah. Isolate now, but then they're also like, oh, it's fine. Go go to the pub. Yeah. Fifty percent off weather spoon. Go on. on. It's all like it's all, all very like serious to bubbly, it's all, like, and it's all very like one rule for Simon and another. Yeah. yeah, like so it's like if we didn't dance together, sitting in this room right now would be illegal. Be at home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's just like, but it's like. It just doesn't make sense, like having a complete lockdown and then, but like banning like being indoors with like other households, but then you still keeping schools open and pubs open. And I think it's crazy open. though because they literally went from going from you're Nothing. allowed to meet six people, then one person, and now pubs are allowed, which has contained yeah. like yeah. so many people, and now all of a sudden they want to close it. Yeah. It's like, like it's just I like could no go to the pub with all five of you, but if I wanted to go to one person's house that's in tier yeah. two, I can't that's do that. That's the thing about the rules yeah. I don't understand as well because if it's like. I don't know if, because it's households like mixing, but I don't know if that means that like different households can go to like other buildings, do you know what I mean? So like, could we all go to the pub and sit at the same table together? 
or if we went to the pub, we have, have to be. You have to be. But social I'm saying no one's social distance. But in a pub, no. who's gonna social distance? If you're drunk in that, like you're not gonna be thinking about. And then you're like, they're saying like all these things about closing at ten, but then everyone's just gonna be leaving at ten. Everyone's been getting. Everyone's just gonna come early. Exactly. Exactly. Like drunk people. And also everyone. And if if they are, and if they are like. Social distance in a pub. As soon as they're leaving at ten, like everyone's going to be going through together. together. Exactly. It doesn't make any Unless difference. Like the closing at ten thing, I think, is so stupid because it's like everyone now is just going earlier. And what yeah. is it? It's coronavirus just like coming out it at ten. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't work. Need. It enforces the need for everyone to leave at the same time. So then everyone's going to all just yeah, leave exactly. Together. So basically, you're saying Corona happens after ten o'clock. So no, so yeah. <laughs> 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 Corona comes out at night time. Like bloody boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. I think it's just silly. That it is is so silly. Unless they did it in like slots, like certain amount of people. If you can book it, that's, yeah, that's what they're trying to do at school with like the staggered timings mm. of like breaks and like opening leaving times. But, but it doesn't make a difference. Day, if you're in the it corridor, corridor, if you're in the corridor, I'll see you in the corridor, point, in the corridor yeah. and I'll be like messing about with you and like it doesn't like it doesn't it's make a difference. It's always a congregation at some point. Yeah. Other mm. people and and we're using the same areas and yeah, they clean it, but are they really cleaning everything like really thoroughly like every day? No, they're not. My carpet's had my same bit of popcorn in it for a week. <laughs> as soon as it's home time, we're all in the park together, yeah. like all yeah, exactly. bunched up. That's so and, we're all getting, and we're all waiting at the bus stop together, yeah. all yeah. like huddled yeah. up, yeah. and we're all on the buses together. It doesn't make a difference. And, and, other and buses are, are so well. packed. Oh. Still My school actually has got duplicate buses, so like there's one bus that goes one place, one goes yeah, one we bus have that goes no, another place. We have but like then they have two of each of the buses, so everyone can social distance the buses. We have certain, like, some of the buses, I didn't know this was a thing, but like, we have like a bus stop right outside of our school. Yeah. And they're like public buses, they're normal yeah, yeah. buses. Yeah. But like sometimes they say like school no school, no, no school, oh. no school, yeah. like no yeah. school allowed. And there's yeah. been about eight of them that's gone yeah, past. And I need to get out. Even with that though, they're not that strict with it because. I get on either, but I think more, more because me, I'm in sixth form, so I don't have the school uniform and that. Mm. But it's like even that the buses are like still packed anyway and there are people who do go to like yeah. there are people from different schools yeah. on those buses anyway mm. yeah. so yeah, yeah. So but and do, you do have to wear a mask also coming bus, back but a lot of people don't because and then, but what does a yeah. mask really do exempt does it really do yeah and there's people that are exempt to and there's people that say they're exempt and there's so many people that don't wear masks it's so like if you section. have like germs on your hands yeah. You're gonna touch the handrail. Doesn't it doesn't just come out of your mouth the and your nose? Is, droplet infection, droplet spread infection. It comes through your it eyes as well, so you're telling us we're all gonna wear like science goggles. No, but the thing is, you get yeah. droplet infections from your eyes. Like, yeah. It goes through your, your eyes. Your eyes are one of the like biggest. It goes through your eyes. Um, yeah. So it's entry. Yeah. Did you not? No, I didn't know that. You know, drop. You get Yeah, it goes through your nose, your your mouth, your eyes. Mostly through your eyes. I think it's the most common one because people just like. Yeah. That's why they say don't touch your face and stuff. No, I thought that was But people are still touching their faces. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So the next one is this is kind of like just like a, like your personal yeah. opinion, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is are you afraid to go into another lockdown, or like are you afraid of being back at school? So we just go yeah. around in like a circle, just like yeah. pers- This is like personally, personally like okay. what you think. Okay. Well, I think. I don't really know. I mean, I'm kind of between minds because I think that in one way it's going to be bad for people who have mental health problems and stuff. Uh, personally, I felt very unmotivated to do like dance, to do mm. school and everything. And now we're actually back at school and doing stuff. I feel like I might yeah. struggle slightly. Um, but personally, no, I'm not scared because I feel like it will help and it will benefit overall, like everyone. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, it's obviously because I'm in my year of doing my GCSEs. For me, being at home, it means Let's say I'd sit in a lesson for an hour and do an hour worth of lesson in school, but maybe I could do that work in half an hour. I could use that extra time to work on revision and stuff like that. Yeah. So for me, being at home, I can be more productive if I want to be more productive. But if I'm having an off day, not feeling like doing anything, when I go to school, I'm forced to do things. Yeah. When I'm at home, yeah. it's kind of like, That's if I want to stay up in my bedroom and eat bonbons yeah. on my bed, I can. <laughs> for me, I'm not afraid. I'm more of like, I might as well just get it done. Like, just, just do it. Like I have nothing to say. Like I can't go up to Boris and be like, "We're not doing it." He's not gonna listen to me. So it's just like either way, we've got to get it done. And like if we do do it, then obviously it'll be better because obviously the virus yeah. won't be if, out there. But then, but then I feel like it's sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> so I feel like because also with like 
I feel like if we do go back into a lockdown, it'll have to be a proper one because yeah, even with the two yeah, to three weeks, like, the incubation time of the virus is mm. two like two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. So you can go them. in, so you can go in and have not have the virus, yeah. but in those two weeks, the virus yeah. is in your system, you could, and could, then you come out and you're once. ill again. No, but That's they the say they, they say if you come down once. with symptoms, you have to isolate for two weeks from when your isolate from when your symptoms start. But what was I going to say something? Wait, but then we could look at my fires. That was on the end. Yeah. <laughs> um, so me, I'm not scared to go to school because, like, obviously I want to see my friends. Like, I'm actually glad I went to school because, like, in lockdown, um, I wasn't. Well, I was doing school, but like at the same time, it's like mm. it's not really like you're learning. Yeah. And um, like I had to do two weeks isolation, and when I was doing school, it was taking me like maybe two hours to complete yeah. a whole day. I feel of, like mm. six and a half hours. When I was at home, I had no routine, like, yeah. no all. routine, like, it would take me a whole, like, because I, like, separate it, because I couldn't do it all in one, it's mm, not my brain, yeah. um, it would take me, like, a whole day to do, literally, like, six periods of work, and that's it. Yeah. Like, do you know what I um, mean? Yeah. The thing is, if we were to go into another lockdown, I would go into a lockdown knowing that I could come out and coronavirus would be better yeah, yeah, but before yeah. we were in a six month lockdown and we're nearly as bad as we, we were at the start it, it was so do you know what i think though i feel like if corona did end like completely everyone would go back to school at the same as they did before corona was a thing yeah. and it would just be a cycle it would happen again mm. yeah. until everyone's you know had I mean? it that's, everyone. that's, that's why we have no to wait for a vaccine happy as birthday well. when they wash yeah. their hands yeah. 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 Like, no one I mean. would blow their candles no one would be wearing masks i think that um i think that is there someone still at the door by the way wait alex open the door no we don't open the door no just leave it this is gonna go in the podcast we're doing the podcast I was gonna say something really important. It wasn't that important. Doesn't matter. I was gonna. I was gonna say something. Hold on. Someone else. I was just gonna say. I was gonna say for me, like I'm not afraid to go into another lockdown, but I just think like generally I'm just gonna be so unmotivated to do anything and being like, I know it's not like a serious year like my first year of sixth form, but still like sixth form's different. If they do, it will like. They've kind of built up my excitement because I've yeah, just got yeah, back yeah. into everything. Exactly. All my motivation. And like, sick mm. with like, with like stuff is such a big jump from GCSE. I kind mm. of need to be in school yeah, to be yeah. learning just stuff because yeah. I can't teach myself that stuff. Yeah. And so I feel like another like lockdown like before. I just like it'd be like loads of stress to get through that, and I don't think it'd be good like for me mentally. I'd rather sort of be in school, and I'm not afraid to be in school because like. That's, but that's more like a selfish thing because like personally I feel like if I caught coronavirus mm. like touch wood like anything bad happens to me but I feel like I'd be okay yeah, yeah definitely no, like yeah, yeah. but then I understand like for like everyone else it's better to be in lockdown but I personally just feel think like I'd rather not be yeah, yeah for me like I'm in year 10 at the moment but obviously I'm taking a GCSE this year so like learning the stuff like at home would just be too much like i can't i can't i was supposed I to take a gcse that. in year 10 and then we just didn't yeah it. but i, I feel, feel like, like i wouldn't I have missed, been able to i missed six months of learning that i just feel like i'm so behind already I, but i feel like generally like with what boo said though you can get more done like in a short space of time mm-hmm. when you are in lockdown but then like through lockdown like at the start then yeah sure you're going to be doing that but then when it gets to like four that like months me, yeah. you just lose yeah. all your lack of motivation yeah. you stay in bed until like midday I think the and reason like... for that is the reason between i mean not the difference between this lockdown obviously a potential second yeah. one is that there wasn't there's an end in sight for this one there wasn't for the other we, we never knew when it was going to end they told us it's going to be next week then they told us it's going to be next week you just think, and then i think <laughs> everyone just lost motivation at that point because you just think well, if there's if there's going to be no end, there's no might as well just situation. like there's there's nothing to move towards. Do you know what I mean? Even with dance, I was losing motivation. For real, I, I didn't even want to dance. Did but then also, point. I feel like when we came back it was from so dance, fun. we loved it. I so yeah, it, it was, was like really it was good. good. Especially even even though it was like in our small teams and stuff like it was outside. It was still it was like fun and also like 
I did feel like I saw an improvement in myself yeah, that's from, from and cause, working on it. Because you missed it so much, you enjoyed it so much more when you came back. Yeah. So you wanted to train hard because yeah, you didn't yeah. know how long it was going to last. I yeah, think it's exactly. given us it's given us a new profound appreciation for actually being able to leave the house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And be able to like go see yeah. people. Um, I want to know what's your opinion? My year, we have three more weeks for our GCSEs. What's your opinion on that? I three more weeks. We have our GCSEs are going to back three weeks. I feel like uh, um, yeah, no, all exams for. Because even when I came, when we started lockdown, because I, I was supposed to be doing my GCSEs, I thought, like, definitely for me, my GCSEs should be cancelled because mm. I haven't finished, mm -hmm. like, course. the course. Yeah. And, like, but you lost, like, I'm, two months yeah, of your exactly. I've lost six months. I know, this, so course. I'm getting to that point. So that I was like, I've lost two months, so that it's unfair for me. But then I thought, also for the year 10s, they're missing basically half the school year. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, but like so I, I missed six months. For, they're giving me three more weeks. I, def I said, yeah. like, I said straight away when the government was sorting out our exams. I said, look for the year below me and the a year above worse. me, it's worse for them because they would be I feel like doing their exams. Your situation, there's two sides of it. Like, like obviously, if, wait. So they pushed it back for three weeks. Yeah. So like it's later. Three weeks later. later yeah. But I think that that's just down to you. Six months doesn't make up for three years of learning. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just three take weeks it. Make up for six months. <laughs> No, no, six no, months doesn't make up for three years. Look oh, right, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like it's just up to you. Like, you chose not to do the work, so that's your own. Yeah, that is true. That like, is even true, if no. you did do it, like, but and I you didn't like, understand but I feel it. Like that's but that's also that's unfair as well because, like, my school set the, work, some schools, schools didn't. set work, some schools didn't set work because some schools were un and underprepared some and some schools yeah. just weren't ready. And also some schools point. coming back from lockdown, it felt like we weren't supposed to be in school and they felt underprepared mm. as well. And I feel like it's harder to learn right now than it was before, because before mm -hmm. you could go after school, like to like speak to teachers and stuff. And you don't, that after you, could, you don't you get, to, yeah. but like at some schools you don't get any of that now. It's like yeah. you're in lesson, your teacher can't even come yeah. to give you, you one on one and help. give you one on one help. Yeah. And like some people, like they'll be embarrassed to like ask questions and stuff. Yeah. So they want teachers to be able to come over yeah. to them, but then they can't because yeah. they're like, yeah. they're like. So then that. Like yeah, inhibits their learning because they're not confident doing enough confident enough to ask for help and like um, seek The help. one big flaw with this situation, that my situation, is that basically my results day is six days before the day I start sixth form. Yeah. So, so normally, like for me, I'm stuff. I know three subjects I want to do, but I'm a bit unsure about the fourth because my school has like four four A levels. Yeah. So I'm like. I was going to choose that fourth A level based on what I got on that GCSE, but yeah. I have six days have to, to decide. To but I first, personally, and you have to, I don't yeah, you think have it's to hand in applications before that. I don't think that's the school's fault. Like I don't think we can completely blame the government the school on that. Yeah. because yeah. it's not their fault. That's not yeah, their fault. Yeah, yeah. They no didn't choose to go before. on a seven month. And no one's been through this. Yeah. But I, gen I think that GCSEs for. Um, 2021 and A levels should be cancelled and done the same that they did them for this what year. What about people with learning difficulties? But that's yeah. true. Um, yeah. For me, what do, you, no, okay. what do you think about people with like dyslexia or people who have trouble learning or like yeah. audio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like people who um, like seriously struggle and obviously yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. constant teachers for you know the people who have. I, I, like, I have people in I have people in my class as well around. that like they definitely benefit from having one to one and like having like just their own time with teachers mm -hmm. and it's definitely harder for them to learn because they're having to learn like everybody else and obviously they're the people that shouldn't be learning like everyone yeah, else they like, need the like extra support yeah. yeah exactly yeah exactly yeah it's like a, um, <laughs> <laughs> um i was like really that yeah. what you were saying i was like <laughs> but yeah i think I think if we do do ever like go into another lockdown, it's just got to be serious. Yeah. Like no it's joking got to about. And it's like, got to be for everyone everywhere, yeah. not for like mm -hmm. different. It has to be enforced. That's the thing. I think the main thing is enforcing it because you can you can easily tell people don't go out or don't go to the shop, don't but go no to the shop. There's no one but there's, there's them. always going to be the one person. I think that if you're going to do like a serious, serious lockdown, there needs to be police and yeah. people who are enforcing the actual law that you're trying to create. Otherwise, Nothing is gonna happen. Because people are gonna I think I'm not gonna think get caught. The last it's fine. lockdown was like serious. serious. Mm. Do you know why? Mm. Because they were saying if you get caught or something, da da da, then you get fined. But there were loads of people out, and I didn't see one yeah, exactly. fine on the news. But then also, I feel like more people took it more seriously the first time because they were like, "This is kind of like yeah. serious." But now, like we've been going through this for almost a year now. And it's like a lot of us have been so fine. 
and like people have been affected but a lot of us have been social and it hasn't been like that yeah. bad yeah. so i feel like this time around people just can be like but what's the point i go to school every day i, I come to like dance three times a week i travel on public transport and, and i thing. haven't caught it they talk about like lockdowns but they're still talking about keeping schools open so it's like, pointless it but then people that would say thing. that's just luck yeah, think, yeah. but the the this is luck and if they're gonna would just, say hmm. The that. problem with the whole situation is not a one size fits all. You can you can put out a bunch of guidelines, but it doesn't help everyone. Someone's always going to have an issue with the guidelines you set out. So there's no, nothing also, they can do that's, that's going to help. I think everyone. it's hard for people to follow rules when they have a government with people in it who aren't following rules as well. Yeah, but a lot I of people have been sacked from the government. Yeah, and I'm not saying that because I'm being that biased, but the younger generation don't care. Yeah. Really yeah. Like, but then people say that, but some of us really do. Yeah, some people some do of us, genuinely. I'm not like, saying all of it, I'm no. just saying like for the older people that understand it, people don't take younger generation don't take the time out to actually watch the news. They don't take the time out and I'm saying that for myself. I didn't take the time out to watch the news. Yeah. I didn't take the time out to actually research what is what the coronavirus is. I just know it's a virus that can kill people. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So that's what's made I think other people I did like watch the news and research it like mm -hmm. But that's because I kind of just wanted to know like what yeah, I was allowed to do with it my own life. Like, it was it. more like, yeah. but it was more like a selfish it. reason yeah. for. I only really watch it if yeah. my parents are watching the news. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Let me look on BBC News. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah. let's have Netflix. <laughs> but and I, chill. Do, I actually think that during this has made me more like use like watch the news more. I never I just watched wanna, the news before. Because it's more like because like before generally the news would just be about sort of like terrorist attacks, conflicts like outside of our country. So it wasn't like stuff that affected me personally, whereas now I'd use the news a lot more because it's like, stuff I want to know what's going, yeah, I want to know like what I can and can't do or like how at risk I am and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. But the one thing that I think is quite strange is if someone in my bubble at school gets coronavirus, I don't actually find out who it is unless that person tells me. The first time, when I went into isolation for two weeks, they didn't tell me who it was. So I didn't know how at risk my family was. Because it could be a person like that I haven't come into contact with once. Like the school just think I have. Or it could be someone that I see next to every single lesson and the school just didn't it's tell me who also, it was. It's also like the bubble, also with like the people at school getting it, I feel like that brings another like class issue as well because I feel like there's definitely people who blame different like groups of, groups of people for yes. having cases in school and I feel like the name and shaming thing would like maybe be a positive or a negative because I definitely think that like upper class families think oh that's those people from that area blah 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 because they're all dirty and uh, like stuff like that <laughs> but I've, genuinely <laughs> heard, also... I've genuinely heard people say that like about when cases arrive yes. but I know that people in like my school with head cases have mainly been the yeah. upper class and I there's hear the upper class parents blaming like working there's class also or a race class thing like people will still make do it do blame like, it on yeah. Asian people yeah. 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 that's definitely a race but that's just a conspiracy like thing yeah, yeah. like people can I say oh that person like, ate a bat like yeah, did they actually eat no one actually knows where it originated no one actually knows where it originated in a seafood market yeah that's where they say that then it just goes back to what Alex said like they're just generalising like all the conspiracy theories into one yeah like they're just making it into one it's giving the people a reason to be racist but it really shouldn't have it's not a race thing I think that's that's the thing it's about everyone can get it people are people are definitely under educated about everything as well like they just sort of like it's like the facts aren't clear for them, so they don't really know what they should be doing. Mm. And I don't mm. think people are educated enough on it as well, personally, unless you go out of your way to find stuff out. Yeah, because I only really research on the news when I actually want to know what's going on. But if I'm just feeling like I don't really care that much mm. today, I'm not yeah. going to go and check it out. Yeah. And a lot of people are in that mindset. They're like, the government is saying things. They're saying a lot of words, but the words mean nothing. Mm. Like they're saying R oh, right. I actually don't even know what R right is. <laughs> Reinfection. I believe it yeah. is reinfection. I think I, that, I think it's like I how many like, people you infect like, when you get it or something like that. I don't really know. What like um I think it's like if you the have exponential it, growth of the something like, yeah. like the spread of it. Uh, I think overall it's just like what people take upon themselves to do, like take the responsibility for yourself to Because a lot of us we know like, that if we don't take it seriously you know we're what, not gonna be able to dance. Do you know what I feel like I feel like yeah. the lockdown I feel like we can try it again but I think if it doesn't work 
then a we third lockdown off. isn't going to be a thing. No we're one, just, no we're, one. We're just going to have to live with it because, I, like, everyone will just lose respect, for, just lose respect the for the government and if like. And it's not that it's not complete the government's fault. Like they mm-hmm. don't know they're they're, they're in the same situation, situation as we are because they, well, they don't know because they don't know what's going well. on. Well. They don't have they don't have all the facts and everything as well. So it's like hard for them to run a country yeah. when they don't know what's going on. Either. Modern because government has yeah. never had a pandemic yeah, before. Exactly. This modern yeah. government have never, has never yeah. experienced. But then yeah. also yeah. that you have advisors to tell you to prepare for stuff like this, mm-hmm. like. Because you know that there's countries who like experience like natural disasters, like tsunamis and like mm-hmm. typhoons and stuff like that. They have like plans put in place. They have like government schemes put in place to help deal with that really quickly and like have responses and like um, like procedures beforehand. And the UN and stuff, they do warn countries of like global pandemics, yeah. but no one ever takes it seriously because they think, they when is there so. ever a global pandemic? Like they hardly ever happen. Then it's like and that means that when it happened, it, we were so unprepared because we didn't have enough PPE or anything mm. like to deal with it yeah. at hand. Yeah. So I feel like if we were more prepared at first, then we'd definitely be in a better situation right now. Yeah. So I think for future governments, we have to take yeah. into consideration that stuff like this does just happen out of the blue yeah. and we need yeah. to be prepared yeah. for it yeah. in the future. Yeah, to be honest. Just like warning um, and stuff. But yeah. like, it's also, obviously, the WHO, World Health Organization, mm-hmm. and the UN, and everyone, they have so many things that they need to think, this can happen, this can happen, like, a terrorist attack can happen, a typhoon can happen, anything can happen, they need to prepare for every single thing, but yeah. now we're thinking, they should have prepared more for a pandemic, but if something else was going to happen, they should have prepared more for that. So no, but like, that's the thing. No though, one ever knows that's what's going to happen. Though, countries at high risk of earthquakes and typhoons, you know, they, they are always prepared, like, they always mm. have... Well, they're not always, but most, like, majority, like, Philippines and stuff like that, like, they they always, like, have plans put in place because they know it happens frequently, whereas with a global pandemic, it doesn't happen frequently, so nobody took Last it seriously. Last one was, like, Spanish flu. But, so, that's ago. why I think now you should just have that, because it doesn't take that much to plan for a pandemic, like, like obviously mm-hmm. a serious bit like yeah. just plan it and have that stuff there yeah, in the background exactly. and then you can have all your other plans for more frequent things but then it's just it will just put us in a better place if it ever okay. happens again i have never worn more than a mask in my life until it came to coronavirus yeah. like yeah, so many yeah, yeah. People, the only people that really wore masks were like a few people well, in the asian community know, like, that wore masks but that's and just because that's more just like it's air, air pollution and stuff from America. They used to wear them. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't need a mask. I remember mum bringing yeah. me the first mask. I was like, I don't need that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna yeah. lie to you. When it was like the start of lockdown, and like I think it was like the first month or two, mm. I was like going like obviously you have to do like daily shopping. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I was going with my mum, and like. I was going in shops and I just wasn't wearing a mask. Mm. Do you remember when they were talking about masks wouldn't help it? And then it? Yeah, before they were talking about masks wouldn't yeah. help it, now it's like you it's must a, wear a mask. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I went into like, I don't know, Morrison's and they never said anything to me. But now if I was to walk in right now, they'd probably kick me out of the shop for not wearing one. But then that's the thing as well though, it is law now, but I've been into shops where I haven't like, Put my mask on, and they haven't said anything. It's like what you just said, like it's because they mask, it. mask is the law. Law is our life, so we just yeah. gotta live with it. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's actually, is so true. Like we actually just have to live with it. Like there's yeah. nothing we can do. We can't stop the virus. We can't. Just gotta deal with it. We just gotta yes. move on and try and like. Make do with yeah. it the best yeah. we can. Definitely. But yeah, just got to keep positive mindset. Just it about that. <laughs> 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 that was a long one. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm like to go back to the actual thing. I don't think any of us are scared. I don't think we're scared. Oh yeah, like, I'm afraid. I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm afraid Bad for like how it'll mentally affect me if I was another lockdown that lasted as long as the one before. Mm. But I'm not like. I don't mind going into one, but I, like, as, as long as, as it works. As long as, as it long works. If it don't work, work, and it's done properly for a good reason, it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, yeah but, but I'm again, but I'm not scared to be in t- in school because yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was lockdown. Might as well make that podcast well. Okay, right. So we're gonna kind of take a break from lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, that whole kind of half. Well, I don't know how long that was, like 40 minutes? Uh, 45 minutes. Well, 45 <laughs> minutes of lockdown. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna do like the last one kind of about TikTok, like, and is TikTok the new dance platform for like, I don't know, dancers, I guess. Yes. And like, yeah, so what are your I'm gonna say, I'm speak. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <cheap. laughs> I'm going to speak. Um, 
a lot of people get famous on TikTok for doing absolutely nothing. Like, you know, Bella Port, yeah. she sits there and she's like, M to the B. Yeah. <laughs> and she got yeah. famous on TikTok. But there's like, like so many people that are such insane dancers that don't mm-hmm. get any clout. And I feel yeah. like that frustrates my yes. heart. When I Definitely, see. Especially like people we know who were like, oh, honestly. Like, you know the thing with um, Aisha and Damari? When they did their dance, oh, and, and then someone the else took it, it and they took credit for it, and they got loads it of clout really on it. It really frustrates me because they're actually like proper dancers, like mm. that are on that. that, 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 that like, they don't even have to be from the UK. Yeah, like, exactly. I see American dancers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they've only got like one K followers. Yeah. yeah, and then there's like <laughs> no there's hate to Charlie or Addison <laughs> or anything, but like, I mean, yeah, so they're they're good good have you ever seen them? I definitely think. In a Actually, way, yeah. in a way, it's a platform that promotes dance. Like you see a lot more people mm-hmm. getting into dance and dancing and because like of it, and it's easier for them to like learn like just little like it's not a dancing and stuff. platform. But it's not like a dancing platform. platform. It's a, it's, it's it's a challenge. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it's not even that. It's a cloud dance it's, platform. No, it's not even that. It's, it was made to share videos of lip syncing, and it evolved yeah. into dance. Yeah. Like it's evolved into mm-hmm. like all but that it's stuff. not even but like. But like for us, we know it's not like proper dance. It's just like and there's some people doing yeah. their, their and routines, like and they're like, obviously they're not bad, but like, yeah. and then there's dancers that are like putting their own twist on it, or it looks sick, and they're only getting like maybe mm-hmm. or dancers 10K not even likes, doing. And there's people that are getting millions of likes for just. And there's dancers that aren't even doing TikTok dances. They're doing they're like they're proper like showing like what they do like at rehearsals mm-hmm. and stuff like that yeah. or like just like their performances and they don't get anything for it and there's no, nothing to show for it obviously yeah. everyone knows yeah. who charlie is she posted i saw she posted a video of her actually doing like because yeah. she, yeah. she's, 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 she's a contemporary yeah. lyrical yeah. Something dancer and i saw a video she posted she got like two mil likes and that's still a lot but she got two mil likes on an actual dance video she did one where she did a tiktok dance with like noah beck or something it got like 10 mil yeah. likes it's like nobody actually appreciates the craft of dance it's more of a clout dance mm-hmm. tiktok dance mm-hmm. and and but then, in the end of the day, she's getting her money, isn't she? She's getting her money. Yeah. She's yeah. getting she's doing ads But then I, don't th- then I don't think it's a dance platform. Like I don't think it's That's even becoming mean. a dance platform. I think it's just people, a platform people, that people are just on. Like, they say it's a dance platform because that's what's typically on, on there. It. But there's yeah. also a lot of stuff I mean, that isn't But there's dance. comedy on there. There's yeah. like... Pool cleaning. The, the, yeah. <laughs> 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 the thing is, I remember I was watching the um, adults podcast and they talked about the same thing. And yeah. Kamani was saying how he uses all the platforms like Instagram and TikTok to direct them all to his YouTube. This is where mm. I he, wants, he uses it. That's what I he still, uses the clout yeah. that he's got there because obviously he has something K followers quite like a lot. 20 yeah. something. I think yeah. And he directs mm. them to his YouTube. This is smart thinking. Well, smart thinking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely <laughs> think that like YouTube is still kind of the main dance platform because even Instagram so well, like you still see like choreographers and that like mm-hmm. doing stuff on there more than TikTok because also TikTok's only like a minute video and stuff like that yeah. Yeah. otherwise you have to do it in parts so it's like mm. it's definitely like it's not able to be like a proper dance mm-hmm. platform because if like mm-hmm. pros are doing tutorials or like they're just showing like stuff they're gonna use YouTube for that yeah. or like IGTV so I got this topic and stuff. from the adult one yeah. and like when I watched it their views were like completely different to what I don't know a young teenager yeah, yeah. would Think, do you know what I mean? It's because not I, many of them for us it's mainly it. entertainment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, entertainment, yeah, some that. like I don't think. Uh, yeah, I, just, yeah. I think it's mainly entertainment. Um, I mean, my opinion. My what I was gonna say is like I don't think TikTok's the new dance platform. I think all dancers are still gonna use IGTV, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, YouTube, but. TikTok's a place where you can clout chase, you can get your clout yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, from doing easy. TikTok like challenges well. to spread that clout yeah, elsewhere and like direct them elsewhere. It's a platform yeah. where you raise like, like where you raise awareness. You, yeah, you raise awareness for your but other platforms is, that you're though, doing everything else. People you say Instagram's dropped, but now it's coming back up because now they've introduced reels. Yeah. And yeah. that's where people post their TikToks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. And yeah. bare people are getting views on their reels and bare people are getting bare followers like Oh, I said bear a lot, didn't I? You're yeah. <laughs> getting a lot of followers from it, like. Yeah. Just but then from I don't think reels. like TikTok really worked being a straight dance platform. That's the thing. That's what I was going like, to say. Like you can't pause. You can't like pause and go back and stuff, and yeah. you can't like and put it like long videos. Yeah, it. and you, you can't put like long. It. You can't put long videos out yeah. and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. They were thinking about putting three minute videos in it though, but still three minutes isn't a dance set. If I want, if we wanted to post that on our IMD TikTok. Hashtag follow the Andy TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you want to like 
go on if you wanted to post like our make proofs that you can't get that on TikTok. Mm. No. And nobody on TikTok would really no appreciate like it either. No, no one yeah. likes but it. Yeah. Yeah. What TikTok but looks the thing for. is through all of lockdown, like Kroger's using Instagram to teach. So I yeah. don't think you can say like there's TikTok lives, but I don't see I don't see many people using t- using TikTok but lives then to teach. People use dance. it as a business. Yeah. Like obviously people, yeah, like more of a business. They central. have obviously, if you don't know, TikTok have like famous people on there. <laughs> and um, what's it called? They have like creator funds, and it's like obviously if you post a video and like people it like it, really and well, it and you get yeah. paid or something. You get paid yeah. a little bit. Yeah, they like give you gifts as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you get paid and stuff. So like I think but I also for think us. Yeah. You don't have like a lot of like we don't have any clout. No, yeah, I'm not yeah. being rude or anything. Yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. have yeah. more than one K yeah, followers yeah, in this exactly. room, right? Not yeah. even. Yeah. For even us, it's stupid. Yeah. We may think like, oh, it's not real dancing, but for people who aren't dancers and are getting the money, they're Some thinking, people. oh, that's my business. That's yeah, that's what I make. And they also get that's sponsorships on top of that because. Products will see that they have loads of clout. Because there was a point where TikTok get, like, was going to get banned, and everyone yeah. was literally everyone like was crying, yeah. <laughs> and they were like idiots because it's still here. <laughs> no, but literally, like they were posting like, "Oh, I've created a business from this, like gone yeah. from zero followers to like ten that's, million." That's the good thing about it. You know what I mean? Like even but that's Charlie, not, but that's she was not through like, dance. Though, at one think. point, that's everyone was at zero followers. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, like oh, sorry, you can't even buy TikTok followers. Like, it's just like. I rate everyone who has like over a million followers, not even just like a million, 10K. like over like 10k. Like you've worked for it, you've gained yeah. them. You've got it for a reason. Yeah, even if you don't portray yourself and it in def- the best it way. Definitely, like, like, you definitely do have to work to like promote your account. Like you do have to be doing stuff yeah. like posting regularly. Don't just snap your fingers like, in it. You can't it. just film one every now and then and then hope yeah. like It's hard work to do well, yeah. but yeah. Especially for people who have like loads of followers. It's like a full time job for them. And also yeah. it's a lot of But then you on. could argue that then like compared to people who do have a full time job and work hard, yeah. are, is it like actually right yeah. that they're doing yeah, that well? Because uh, you can you can stay at home and film so film some videos of you yeah, doing yeah. the work yeah. and you can get you can get money from that. Yeah. But then there's some people that work yeah. so hard as dancers yeah. Yeah. and or, actually get dance like jobs like and actually do people. things as but dancers. He, like, so. not, like yeah, it's so like choreographs and stuff, like even dancers like they're not doing as well as people on TikTok who are just doing like just like silly little TikTok dances. Yeah. But then also there's people who are working like in healthcare and stuff like that to like benefit other people's mm-hmm. lives. Like like actually like I know TikTok like TikTok definitely helps like for with people like sort of just like seeing other people and like like sort of like there's a bit of happiness in your day like if mm-hmm. you were just like stuck at home. But then there are like like healthcare workers and stuff like they don't get paid do they much don't get paid dancers. like anything compared to TikTok dancers? Like, is that really fair? Lot, like a lot harder. Yeah. And then there's yeah then there's choreographers then who are working dance, a lot harder and they're teaching people. loads of classes and they're like making choreo like every day mm-hmm. and they're not getting paid the equivalent of people. But some like, TikTokers do do a lot do 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 a lot <laughs> of um, a lot of planning and a lot of everything. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's like, true. But if I had ninety four million, I'd be putting in the How work. Many yeah. Yeah. Paid Have for you that? seen Kieran like, had um has is trying to make a hype house like yeah. da- yeah. a dance ha- hype house like mm. that is helping him raise his profile yeah, so yeah, he can yeah. do but that. But then he's not doing it for the wrong reasons. He's not saying oh people who have loads of clout let's go to one house. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying yeah. people who are underrated, people yeah. who are yeah. underrated, yeah. people who yeah. don't. People who are actual dancers, people who just, just don't get, hit just the world every 15 seconds, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's doing it for a good reason. There are some people who do it for a good reason as well, don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. But, but there's, there's some people who do it out. better than other people. Definitely. But then some people do it amazingly and they don't get they don't get the recognition yeah, they deserve yeah, yeah. because if you're prettier you're it's more likely to yeah. get more yeah. followers yeah. and exactly. things. But like you could see like someone look like a snail and, and they also, can get they and can also be such a good with, dancer. I think also with TikTok like the algorithms as well like yeah. it's not I don't think it's promoting it's talent, not it's fair. promoting good looks. I don't think yeah. that they promote like good looks it's or very like biased. it's very yeah. biased. Whereas with like Instagram and that it's not as biased. Mm-hmm. But then I also think with TikTok you find new people eat more easily. Yeah, the so I think, page doesn't so do I think, any justice. So I think for like finding people and like promoting stuff, it's definitely it might be better mm-hmm. to use TikTok because if you are lucky with the algorithm, like a lot of people will see it. But like Instagram Explore page, like it doesn't It doesn't do dancers doesn't justice. Do dancers I don't justice. even have dancers on my Instagram explore page. Like, yeah. Yeah. but the TikTok obviously shoes. the stuff you yeah, like, <laughs> the stuff you like is what comes up on your for you page. But, then, but on explore page, but it's then what with, you look at when TikTok page. started as well, like you saw all these like new dancers like 
come up but then there's dancers that you would have followed before and you see like their TikToks like not doing yeah. well at all and you know that they probably deserve to have more recognition yeah, than other well. people. Yeah. TikTok is good for some people but it's not good for others. It's very like it favours It's a biased people. like platform. It's a very biased very platform, easy. yeah. And coming from like an outside, obviously I used to use it or not post anything. I just used to watch it while I deleted it. Yeah. Because it's just so like it takes up your life, it's very well, interesting. Well it's not it's not that because I have like self control. But like <laughs> 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 um, no but like just to see like all the people who like there's some people who get like three likes that come up on my export mm. on my for, for you page. That's yeah. true. But, but like, that's, that's gone down. It used to be you could have some people come up on your for you page that have no, no but it's not likes. That. It's just but that, now it's, it's mostly like, famous people. I feel that like, like you come up on my page. For you page. You come you up page. Like, yeah. With yeah. like TikTok. Obviously, it wasn't originally TikTok, was it? It was musically. Yeah. But there was yeah. one thing you could do: was move the camera, shake it, and do something. <laughs> that was that the was only like, thing you could do. There was literally, if you were dancing, it'd be in times two. So that's yeah. the only thing you could literally. Do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They were, they were the only trends. There was about three trends that were dance trends. But now on TikTok, you can do dance, you can do yeah, comedy, that is you can do everything. Food, food, yeah. ASMR. <laughs> and then there's like the filter challenges. Like there's so many well, different yeah. like so topics different. on TikTok. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, so def compared to musically, TikTok so is more. definitely a dance It's definitely like, upgraded. Upgraded, yeah. Yeah. upgraded it in the sense of I it being a dance platform. platform. But it's, it's still a platform that's like open to everything. Yeah. I just think like the big, the people on TikTok who are bigger are dancers. dancers yeah. so, or yeah. get yeah. clout off of doing dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But I think... It works for some people, it doesn't work for others. Yeah. I think that's it. Like, it doesn't like, work for me, but some people are vibing. Like a normal, not a no, you're not normal if you don't do dance. I mean, you are <laughs> yeah. normal if you don't do from dance. Like, <laughs> but like, like, professional if dancer, it's from like, so, you know what I mean? a dancer's view and a... People who don't do dance, that's the one. People yeah. who like people who just go home and do homework yeah, and they go yeah. to sleep. Okay? From that perspective, I, I feel like back to the question, I think for a dancer, <laughs> yes it can be, but then if you use it correctly. Yeah. No, I don't even think that. I think if it can be, but then it's what people who are viewing it see as dance. Yeah. They see dances. Yeah. I don't know, doing the nay nay, yeah, like the exactly. trend in yeah, dances. Yeah, yeah. But dance is actually like, if I said to, I don't know, someone <laughs> That's who, the thing. who watches it and says, oh yeah, let's make a crump choreo, yeah. they wouldn't know what that That's is. That's the yeah. thing, yeah. like the general population, they might see it as a dance platform because of all the, like, the, the viral moment. dances and they stuff. Don't understand. But then for like people like us, who would see like actually proper choreo, and then you see like, understand like proper choreo, I know it's that, like, like no, it's not because like, that's just like not proper. There dance. was that situation with um Tony Lopez in it when he yeah. did that Afrobeat dance. Yeah. People were commenting like, oh, you don't understand the culture, but do you understand the culture? I go on your page yeah. and you're doing yeah. the yes. exact same exactly. thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like there's a lot of there's a lot of negative like, viral comments. It just don't make TikTok. sense in my head. There's a lot of negativity on TikTok. I feel. I feel like, but I feel like for a dance platform like it would have to be viewed from like other dancers perspective because for everyone else like what you were saying like people would see it as a dance yeah. platform but we don't as much because we know like like it's like dance is more than it's just hard to doing explain what they're doing. Yeah, yeah what they're doing it's like i don't know it's weird but, but look even, if you're getting your but money but then, then even if you do like it like that. that then i don't think any specific platform is a dance platform. Mm -hmm. I don't because, think it's like, for be us, a dance I think it's that we follow. We use we, taken I feel like we follow dancers or choreographers, like and like or crews and stuff. We follow them because we're part of this scene. So we, yeah. so like we're part of the community. So we like watch that. Whereas for I, like for like other people's like idea of a dance platform, like they would see. TikTok as one because that's what their idea of dance is. I feel yeah, like they've taken the dance in the wrong way. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. They've mixed dance and trends and yeah. combined them mm. and But I feel like for, dance, for the majority of people, they think that like the trends are like people that's think, what it is. oh, I do one mop and then yeah, I can yeah, dance. Yeah. I'm a professional yeah, dancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I've seen like, like it's to, it's limited quite a lot of respect for dancers. Yes. I think. Okay. It's made being a being a dancer less because oh, people think they're a dancer because yeah. they're one male yeah, doing yeah, clout yeah. dances rather than one male doing true. lyrical yeah. contemporary yeah. so hip hop many, technique, like actual mm -hmm. technique. I've had so many arguments over pe with people who are like um, 
trend dancers and I've had so many, I used to dance with some people who were like trend dancers mm -hmm. and I had so many arguments with them because they were saying, oh, hip hop is trend and trend is hip hop is the same thing, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. And I've tried to explain that there's a certain culture that comes with hip hop yeah. and it's been taken online yeah, and yeah. they've picked out stuff that they like and used I that. feel like trend equals curl and dance equals culture. Yes. yes. And they're mixing trending and dance and culture and clout. Yeah. And it's just not it a good mix. And don't. I, but I feel like genuinely though there can't ever be a true dance platform unless everybody else like has the Got knowledge like, about yeah, dance about that like yeah. people like us do mm -hmm. because because like we can we can because we know that it's not like, not like a proper dance platform but we're like the minority can like mm. compared to like the general like for consumption like, of TikTok. Yes. So for a lot of people, they're gonna be like, of course it's a dance platform, but that's because they have no idea what actual dance is. I feel like for them, it's easy to say that one nay nay is a is a dance. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. a dancer, yeah. join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. us, we understand all the lock in, the pop in, yeah. the crumb, foundation, the afro, actual foundations. Yeah. Like and the history that comes with that. Yeah. As well. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if there was gonna be a dance platform. It wouldn't actually be that big mm -hmm. because it would only be us. actual dancers be that would follow it because we'd understand that it's a mm -hmm. proper dance platform. But then, in a way, that might have been that that might be good because it would get other people involved who don't dance. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think you can say that TikTok is strictly a dance platform. I think we all use many platforms, but TikTok is just a good one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. a good one to yeah, use yeah. as well. Yeah. It won't I become the lockdown, dance platform. It's definitely the app is amazing. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but like during lockdown as well, like. That obviously help people with entertainment. Like if we didn't have TikTok, like but for me, if I didn't have TikTok, then I would probably lost my mind. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't have anything else. I've watched everything. I've, I don't know, I've tried to do my schoolwork. And, and there's constantly nothing. new content coming. Yeah, out. definitely. Yeah. There's so many people. And there's new like new I, think, out, yeah. I think TikTok is good as well for like spreading culture as well. Like not through dance, but like mm -hmm. through other stuff. Like there's yeah. definitely and like education and stuff. Like obviously you can false like like. You can spread like false facts nice and stuff, it, but it's nice to see yeah. like mm -hmm. other people from different cultures like sharing like I think their I lives saw this, and all that stuff. That trending one, you know the footwork thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like she wasn't black, she yeah, didn't yeah. have to do it. Yeah. But like obviously, I don't know, is she like Romanian or something? Why? Mm -hmm. So no, I don't know. I don't know. Not being racist. <laughs> um, but like she was doing like Afro beats and like there was no hate on her page, yeah. which is nice. It's to see nice to because see. if that was anyone else, like if you like did a bloody Afrobeat and you made it a trend, yeah. then she would most likely get hate for it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People don't like, yeah. Like everyone it's should weird. be able to do the culture no matter like mm -hmm. what yeah. their, their culture yeah. is. Yeah. And people, as long as, they as, long as you're doing it, it right, right, if you're being stupid yeah, and you're yeah. doing like, or you're, dis or you're it's mocking it, like you're disrespecting it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's, not it's nice that you get to see different cultures mm -hmm. being shared in a respectful way. Yeah, and it's took and it's took seriously and it's yeah appreciated. Yeah, but yeah, overall, TikTok is a very good platform for. Dance people and, and yeah it does get people to create businesses and stuff from it so yeah that was it that's the that's end it. that's it yeah that's it. right so that was the end right the case one. right that was the <laughs> end of episode four of the young dance opinion civilian show civilian opinion show yeah that was the end um yeah basically it's just about lockdown and tiktok obviously i really do hope you enjoyed um make sure you i don't know dm imd or comment down below if you want to see if you have any topics we want to talk about, any questions about what we've spoken about today, we'll answer it in the next one. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank Peace you. out. Peace out.